today I am sharing, and it is not complete, but it is at a point of its completion, my guest room makeover. And this started a long time ago, like maybe a year and a half ago, because not this past September, the September before, I decided to reupholster or upholster a wood bed that was in the um, guest room. And then from there, you're gonna see the footage, which was filmed originally for TikTok, which is why it's vertical, of me redoing that bed. Oh, this light is going crazy. So the first part that I'm gonna share is the actual bed makeover that I did. Then I'm gonna show you some images of how the room was looking and it's like interim, like I reupholstered the bed and that's it and where I kind of went from there. Today is the day that I'm going to be upholstering this bed. So first I need to take everything apart, then I'm gonna do um, foam, batting, and upholster. Let's see how it goes. Hello from future Marissa. I am here because I'm editing this video now and I wanted to add a couple things. One, the whole reason why I'm showing this to you before it's like fully ready is I need to find the nightstands. I think that that's gonna take quite a while. And then the second thing is the bulbs need to be changed, but my parents are coming in town today for the holidays and they spend a lot of time here and they had asked, not asked, but like kind of implied and I wanted to do it for them that it would be nice to do the guest room a little bit like nicer. So that was the whole point of doing this video that I forgot to tell you was, you know, it's like a fun surprise. Actually, it's nighttime now. It is 8.10. My parents should be here in like an hour and a half um, to come see it and I'm editing the video now. So yes, this is Marissa from the future. I forgot to tell you guys that. So now that I've shown you that, here is how the bedroom was looking sort of in the interim while we were having guests, but it wasn't like done by any means. And then I decided, okay, I had this wallpaper from a brand that I was potentially working with and I held that up in there and I saw if I wanted to use it in there. And I didn't necessarily love the way that that room was gonna look. So I put together this mood board that I'm gonna show you to come up with how I wanted the guest room to look. I found this peel and stick wallpaper on Amazon is pretty inexpensive. I can't remember the price, but I will link everything down in the description below. And I got to work on wallpapering the back wall behind the bed, which sort of was the really big push to change this room. It also gave me a, the idea to move the sconces above the bed. And from there, you're not able to then see the plugs because they're running behind the bed. And yeah, so there's a couple things I still need to do, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. The process of hanging the wallpaper is somewhat tedious and I did it over a span of a couple days. And as you can see here, my nephew was helping me out with this process. And here I am showing you how to cut a clean edge at the top, which what I do is I over wallpaper 
at the top and then I take a blade and cut it so that I can have a clean edge at the top. And I also did that when I got to the corner. But this process is pretty time consuming and you have to do a lot of lifting it up and putting it back down. This little red tool that I'm using is actually really great for wallpapering. I will try to find one of those on Amazon and um, link it down in the description below for you. After I hung all of the wallpaper, I then hung the sconces above the bed so that the cords wouldn't show by hanging them below the bed and then they're perfect for reading lights. But this bulb is actually hanging out because I have it on a clicker, but I'm getting new bulbs that are shorter so they won't be hanging out. And this is dimmable, right? Like, whoa, but I'll keep it nice and dim for like reading so that they can have it on a clicker and not have to reach up to dim it and stuff. But imagine no bulb there. So over here, I command hung this because knowing we're going to do bigger nightstands in the future. So my thought is I'm actually just going to leave that command hung unless there's an issue with it. And I'm going to do the same thing over there. And then we can change them in the future without having a hole in the wallpaper. So I'm going to do that now. And then we're just going to like kind of clean this room up and wait for the bedding to be clean. Here is this art, which by the way, this is Etsy digital download. I can link everything down in the description below. Had this printed at Walgreens. We already owned these frames, but you can buy them on Amazon. I will also link those below. Command wall tape. And honestly, I don't wanna stick it too hard just because I know how hard it is to get off and I'm gonna probably wanna change it. And so what I did with that one was I tried to make it even with the top of this, which would be like, here, which is a little higher than I normally would do. But again, I know that the bedside tables are gonna be taller in the future. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, so I think that this gap is really tall and maybe I'll like put something here to make up for it, but it's because I'm gonna have something taller. Like I realistically, I think the bedside table will be about here in the future, maybe here, and that would look better. Check this out. This is the clicker I got for all the lights because lights have always been an issue in here. And again, I'm gonna change the bulbs in those sconces, but all on turns everything on, all off theoretically turns everything off. It's kind of a little funky. Sometimes you have to double click it and then you can do individual lights. So I think that this is four, and so it's a set of four. I think this was $30. I'll link it down in the description below, but then I'll have these on the bedside tables and I have a small lamp on um, the switch. So when they come in and out, they have that, but then when they're laying in bed, they can control like reading lamps, et cetera, like this. I think this is kind of an awesome find. At this point, I was really just getting things ready for them, cleaning off all the surfaces, cleaning up the mess that I made while I was setting the room up. And also, by the way, as you see a huge stack of Amazon packages, it's because that is all of the stuff that my parents sent for the holidays. So that stuff is for them. That's why there is such a mess in here. Now, the other thing is their two big things they asked me for in this room was better lighting. They also wanted a mirror in the space that was good for getting ready full size and also something that my mom could do her makeup in because they spend a lot of time in this guest room. They're probably here at least a month out of the year, if not more, by the time they make all their trips. So I found this mirror on Target. It was a great deal. I wanna say I paid $100 for it. Again, I will link it down below. All right, so before I show you guys this space, that is everything that I did so far. I'm still in the market for nightstands. I'm considering some from Ikea. I actually love the bedside tables that I have in my room. You can kind of see this one behind me. The three drawer dressers, you know, you want something about like 30 to 34 inches high wide and maybe like 15 to 18 inches deep. 
They're actually small dressers, but they work really well for storage and scale of the space. And I think they would work really well in there. The bedrooms in this house are quite large. So something um, scale looks really, really good. And then again, as I've told you guys a million times, we're gonna, you know, fix those bulbs once those come in from Amazon um, this Wednesday. So in a couple more days. So I will update you guys once I get those and I'm happy to share. Let me know um, what you guys think of the space. All right, guys, so I hope you like this space. Please let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, etc. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. It does so, so much for me. Happy Vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.